We traveled to South Africa specifically because there is a clinic in downtown Durban that has been treating about a thousand people over the last 15 months. The machine is an electromagnetic device that has a resonant frequency that is measured and the people come in and sit around it and they receive two and a half hour treatment over 12 out of 13 days. The eight people that had the, the most advanced stages of, of the infection, they typically would come in in wheelchairs or walkers or being helped by somebody. Their energy level was completely down. Um, most of them would lay the first day or two either on the floor or on a chair. Um, very little talking, lots of despair. It was very depressing. But based upon the stories that I had heard from people that I trust, I was sure that over the next 10 days, I would see a dramatic change. The exciting part was the change started happening on day three. You could feel the enthusiasm of the people. Everybody had a little more bounce in their step. There was a sense of relief. There was a sense of excitement. You're not thinking about dying right now? Oh, not, not anymore. There was a sense of maybe we can get our life back that what we once had. You know, for the first time I saw him walking by himself, it was like a dream to me. And the only thing that had really changed is sitting in this room with that machine running that is specifically dialed in to the HIV infection. What I would hope is that by the scientific community learning more about this technology and the treatment that it does, that they would get behind it to be able to help develop it so that there's more things that it can do for mankind than just work one clinic in South Africa. Without hope, you can you cannot get what you want, and and with hope, you can be well again. Amazing doesn't tell the story, but maybe that's the best word I can think of. <laughs>